Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this duct tape knife sheath. This knife sheath is really easy to make and it didn't take me that long to make and even though it doesn't look great, it's actually a really, really effective knife sheath and it holds the knife in really securely here and then the way that you undo it is you take off this piece of velcro and then you take off this piece of velcro and then you can just take the knife out. The only materials that you're going to need to make this knife sheath is going to be some velcro, some duct tape and some insulation tape which is optional just to make it look a bit better and also a knife to make the sheath around. So now let's see how you make it. Okay so the first thing you're going to need is the knife. This is a homemade knife and if you want to see in the link in the description of the tutorial how to make it just click on the link in the description. So now what you need to do is you need to draw the profile of the knife blade onto two pieces of duct tape and then you need to cut it out. So once you've cut out these two pieces just put them aside for one second. Now you want to cut out a piece of duct tape the same length as the blade of your knife. So I'm just going to cut it off about here. Put over that piece of duct tape and then take this piece of duct tape here and stick it sticky duck side down onto the other piece of duct tape. Now do the same with the other piece. So once you've cut out both pieces and stuck them on, you want to then get one of them and put them over the knife blade like this and then get the other and stick it over the top like this. Now inside here there's a flap which you can put the knife into and it stays in there. You can still easily see the profile of the blade so I'm just going to be using my knife like this just to cut around. Now the knife just fits inside like this. I now want to take two more pieces of duct tape that are the same length and put them around the knife. I'm just going to fold another piece like this over the blade just to reinforce it. Now I'm just going to stick a thin piece over the back like this. Now cut out two pieces roughly 21 centimetres long and about one and a bit centimetres wide and stick them together. As you can see here once I've stuck them together I actually cut a little bit off the back and that is so that I can then stick it onto the back of the sheath like this. Once I've done that I can use another small piece of duct tape just to secure it down. Now we're going to make the belt loop which attaches onto here. So now I'm just going to cut a thin strip of duct tape that's going to be 1.5 centimetres thick and 5 centimetres long. I'm then going to cut another strip 9 centimetres long and 1.5 centimetres thick. I'm now going to take the shorter 5 centimetre strip and just stick it down in the middle of the 9 centimetre strip. And then I'm going to stick it using these remainder sticky bits onto the back of here. Now I'm going to reinforce all of the edges of this loop with duct tape. So I've reinforced all of the belt loop now and the actual knife sheath doesn't look very good yet because I haven't done any aesthetics but it still works. So now I'm going to make it so that it's really hard for the knife to be able to fall out of the sheath. So to do that, I'm just going to be using some Velcro like this. You can get Velcro from pretty much most arts and crafts shops and if you can't get it there, you can always get some on the internet. So first I want to cut two strips which are approximately two centimetres thick. Then I want to use one of these two centimetre thick strips just to put over the piece of Velcro like this and then place the Velcro just over like this. Then I want to do the same on the other one. So once I've attached this velcro around here, the knife can still kind of pull out the sheath a bit and it could come all the way out so that's not completely secure. 
So what I'm going to have is I'm going to have a piece of duct tape coming all the way up over here and then just another piece of Velcro that I'll attach onto here that will hold the knife completely in place. So now what I want to do is I want to take two strips of um, duct tape which are two centimetres wide and then I want to just stick a short one together against a long one and then I want to take this longer one and just stick it onto the back here. Now I want to just secure this with more duct tape. So once that's secured I just want to take another short piece only about three centimetres long and then I want to stick the um, velcro which I'm going to be using on the back here and then stick it on the back here like this and then that'll go over and attach onto this and now the knife can't come out of the sheath at all because this is holding it in place and then to take it off you just pull that off and pull that off and then take it out. Now I want to reinforce all of this with more duct tape. So once all of the parts are reinforced and the knife is held in really securely then I just want to make the sheath look much nicer aesthetically. So basically what I want to do is cover up any wrinkled bits of duct tape like this and also cover up any bits like this where there's just loads of different pieces of duct tape for reinforcement. So now that I've covered up most of the wrinkled up bits and the bits that have got loads of duct tape on I'm gonna put on some black insulation tape where I think it would make it look better. So this is what it looks like once I've finished doing all of the aesthetics and even though it doesn't look great it looks better than it did before so I think it's done now. This velcro easily holds the knife in place and the duct tape sheath is easily thick enough to protect the knife blade and protect you from the knife blade if you've got it hanging from your belt and then it's quite easy to take the knife blade out and once it's out it doesn't leave any stickiness on the blade or anything like that. So thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button down below and subscribe. Also if you want to see the how to tutorial of how I made this knife here, because it's a handmade knife, then there'll be a link in the description down below. Also if you have any requests for any future projects which you'd like me to make, just leave them in the comments section down below or send me a personal message.